Hello everyone, Mohamad Raza with you from Danish Academy. We present for you a video about thermal imaging, which is one of the most applicable technology and tools in various applications, such as electrical apparatus inspection, HVAC systems, and uh, area inspection operation as well. So let's get a start first with a brief history of the subject principle. Okay, until the beginning of the 17th century, color was thought of as a mixture of light and dark. But in the late 1614s, Isaac Newton was researching the refraction of light. In 1674, he discovered that white light, if passed through a prism, splits into a spectrum of colors. At the beginning of the 19th century, the German-English astronomer Friedrich William Herscher took Newton's experiment one step further. He placed the thermometer under the dark red part of the prism and saw that the temperature of the thermometer rose rapidly. He concluded that there is a type of radiation in this part that cannot be seen and it is a type of heat radiation which finally led to the discovery of infrared rays. In 1859, Robert Kirchhoff proved that the absorption and emission of radiant energy by a body is in balance, so anybody emits as much radiant energy as it absorbs. In 1860, he introduced the black body for the first time as a body that absorbs all the radiation energy that reaches it and emits all of it. In 1865, James Maxwell presented a new theory that rejected Newton's hypothesis. He predicted the existence of electromagnetic waves. This theory was later proved in 1884 by Heinrich Hertz, the breakthrough that led to the modern understanding of electromagnetic radiation was made by German physicist Max Planck as Planck's law in 1900. Okay, now we know that the base of thermal imaging is Planck's law, so let's talk more about that and clarify that subject. And of course, at the start it's worth mentioning that here the meaning of two concepts as body and object will be the same. Uh, in the following we will use both as the same concept actually. Yes. Planck's radiation law states that there is a relationship between electromagnetic radiation of an object and temperature, wavelengths and frequency. In fact, Planck's law the relationship between radiation intensity in terms of frequency which has an inverse relationship with wavelengths is obtained from Planck's law for black object. As you can see in the formula, B is equal to spectral radiance of a body, V is equal to frequency, T is equal to absolute temperature, KB is Boltzmann constant, H is equal to Planck constant, and C is equal to speed of the light in the medium. As you see, based on this formula, we have an equation to achieve the temperature of a body from its spectral radiance. In physics, a black body is an object that absorbs all the light that shines on it. No electromagnetic radiation is reflected or transmitted from black object. For this reason, this object appears black when it is cold. A good example of a black body is a hollow body with a small hole through which uh, radiation entering the container has very little chance of being reflected. This radiation is continuously reflected in the internal walls of the body until it is finally absorbed. For this reason, if we look into the object through the hole, we will see it's black. If the black body gets hot, it emits an electromagnetic wave. The spectrum of this radiation, uh, that is the relative intensity of different wavelengths in this radiation, is dependent of the black body and depends only on its temperature. This rule is the main basis of thermal imaging. To clarify the subject, please pay attention to these concepts. Infrared waves are a type of electromagnetic waves whose waves lengths are longer than the range of visible light and shorter than the range of radio waves and microwaves. All objects that have a temperature higher than absolute zero emit electromagnetic wave in this range. The amount of radiant energy above is, in, is a function of temperature. That is, if we can measure the amount of said 
radiant energy, the temperature of the object will be determined. Any object, according to its characteristics and gender, has three special characteristics for emitting radiant energy. The first one is reflection coefficient. It is the ability of a material to reflect infrared rays. Its reflection coefficient depends on two factors. First is the quality of the surface and second one is type of material. The second one is transmission coefficient, the ability of a material to transmit infrared radiation. The transmission coefficient depends on two factors, thickness and type of material. And uh, the last one is emissivity coefficient. This is a property of matter that expresses the ratio of the energy emitted by the substance in question to the energy emitted by a black body at the same temperature. An ideal black body has an emissivity of its, uh, its equal to 1. Anybody other than, than an absolute black body will have an emission factor less than 1. For example, if the radiation coefficient of a body is 0.5, it means that only 50% of the radiation energy is related to the body itself and the other 50% of the total energy is reflected and passed. And now uh, if we want to talk about the object surface characteristics and uh, measurement error, we can talk about the characteristics of the surface of the object whose temperature we want to measure have a strong effect on the temperature measurement. And of course, Three things can cause error in the measurement of the surface temperature of the object. The first one is the presence of dust. Soot and any additional layer can change the surface radiation coefficient. So, this type of thermography is an unprincipled surface. In this case, instead of the temperature of the object itself, you measure the temperature of the layer of soot or dust on the object. Second, Water, snow and ice layer have a high radiation coefficient and have a very small transmission coefficient. On the other hand, humidity or evaporation causes cooling of the measured surface. And we should say that that's why the measuring the equipment covered with these materials is unprincipled work. And the third one is that smooth, shiny and polished surfaces have a lower radiation coefficient than raw surfaces. This problem can cause a significant error in temperature measurement. In such cases and conditions, if it is not possible to remove dust, moisture or ice, the temperature measurement is not done accurately and is only used to detect the presence of objects. Well, now according to what we have stated, we have come to the conclusion that when you have a surface or a heat source, this heat source sends out electromagnetic waves with different intensity and wavelengths in the form of invisible infrared, infrared waves which based on the relationship of the law planes is proportional to the temperature of that surface or heat source. But let's see how the waves can be received. To do this, we need an infrared sensor that can receive these waves and convert them into a standard electrical signal through the signal conditioner. In the single mode of this, there is an example of remote controls that you can see its function. But in the case of thermal imaging, we actually need an infrared camera that can capture a range of waves. This range of waves can indicate the temperature distribution on a surface. Now that you are familiar with the scientific basis of the subject, let us talk about its applications. Here we mention five important applications of thermal imaging. The first one uh, can be mentioned as electrical inspection to check temperature losses that are mostly used in electrical panels such as distribution boards and switch gears. And the quality of wiring installation and the quality of the equipment used are tested. In this method, it's possible to distinguish the original equipment from the fake. And as the second application is the building inspection for insulation which tested the quality of the building's insulation in terms of standard or non-standard both in the type of material used and in execution and as a third application we can mention about the performance testing of cooling and heating systems 
and also uh, for example for HVAC systems and as the first application monitoring and searching operations for objects or people in difficult visibility conditions and also as the fifth application we can mention about the, its application in medical science and identification of cases with abnormal temperature behavior in the human body that can he, that can uh, lead to the pre prediction and discovery of diseases and of course there are many other applications that you can access related information with a simple search on the internet okay we hope this video was useful for you you can share your comments and opinions with us about this video and subscribe to our channel to see future videos and also like this video to support and introduce it to your friends thank you for being with us